Hi and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. Today is the part 5 of our ultimate beginner guide to Samplitude Pro X6. Uh, in the last video, we talked about how to manage takes, and I had some comments on the channel saying that I forgot to talk about uh, managing takes over a group of tracks. So I'm going to show that today. After that, we're going to move on to how to work with revolver tracks and experiment with that. Let's dive in. All right, in the last video, part four about takes, we learned that we could record many times on the same track and then go behind the actual recording and retrieve some data and build a track according to different takes. So a part of the take one, a part of the take two, etc., and build ourselves a take. The only thing that we didn't check is how it works when we are dealing with multiple tracks which are a recording of one instrument, like drums. So let's check how it works. Um, here I have a track. Just a little recording that I did uh, just for this uh, video, not a song at all, just jamming. Um, and we can see that if I select one track and I maybe I go to uh, the take manager, you'll see that there's a few takes available. That's good. If we go into the take composer, then we will see what is on the bass drum track. See here at the top. So if I did select, let's say a part of this take here and this take here, see they are going on the top as end result takes. If I click on the X and say yes, replace on all tracks, okay. We'll see that it did change those two parts on all the tracks. So that's good. Make sure that you don't go and select and uh, ungroup the objects. If the objects are ungrouped, you'll be changing one of the mics alone. So it will be a bit weird as a result because we know that recording drums means a lot of bleedings from mic to mics. So it will fail. So let's listen uh, to what it did. Of course, those are very different rhythms that may not fit together. It was all jams, so that's why it's a bit weird now. But what is interesting is that if you do that with one instrument or like here, an instrument with many mics, um, maybe a customer or yourself uh, wants to keep different versions. Uh, let's say the artist say, oh, my vocal sounds better uh, from this take and you think that it's different, it's another take. So you can build yourself two different projects. Of course, the simplest way would be to go in files and save as and have two different projects with different names, uh, version one, version two. But the developer of Magix went very far with this ID and they created the revolver tracks. Revolver tracks will be found right here and you can uh, create some, delete some, etc. What they are is a set of takes modifications taken in time and you can save this and make other modifications and save another revolver track settings. And then you can switch between the two and have two different song in the same project if you want. Um, so let's try it. Um, what I can do is maybe save this. 
So uh, we're going to select all the tracks, of course. That's very important if you have multiple mics for one instrument. And then we're going <clears> to... <throat> new revolver track copy will take what you are doing and make a copy of this. Okay. Of course, we can do some modifications. Like this maybe, and this part won't be there anymore. Delete like this and we move this so remember the shape we're gonna go and new revolver track copy so we have this one and then this one which is different and this one which is the last one that we did so that's a way to work you can remember them we can change from one to the other using um, short keys. So let's see how it works maybe on one track, um, like a vocal track. So I'm gonna talk and record and we'll see what it does. So I'm gonna choose my input, which is this one. And let's start from the top and record. So this is take one, take one. This is take one. One, one, one. This is take one. Take one. All right. And of course, another take. This is take two. This is take two. Take two. Take two. Take two. Take two. Yes, take two. All right. So, of course, we can go into the take composer. And we have take eight and take nine. So we can build it. Maybe we're going to keep this part. And then I want this part instead. And uh, maybe. Huh. Yeah. Maybe like this. And then. We're going to choose right here. And there. There. Like this. Okay. Yes, we replace on all tracks. So this is the result. This is take two. This is take two. Take two. One, 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 two. Take two. Take one. Okay. So let's save that as a revolver track. Okay. You see there's two now. Now we're going to change things. Let's select everything. Then go into the take composer again so this will be the first part and we're gonna keep this but after that we're gonna go there okay maybe here as well okay again okay and um, this part is a bit short. Yeah, like this. Let's listen. So this is take one. This is take two. This is take one. One, one, one. This is take one. Take one. Okay. And then if we change um, the revolver track to this, see it changed everything this is take two this is take two take two one 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 this is take one okay i'll page down i'll page up those usually can be changed on a fly with uh, keyboard shortcuts but right now what uh, 
the software says ALT page up or page down um, does not seem to work. Um, if I go ALT page up, it changes the track. So we can go into it Y and go into the keyboard shortcuts and maybe change what we need to it to make it. Um, so keyboards. Control up. This is take two. This is take two. This is take one. Let's say we make a loop just for this part. Loop. So this is take one. This is take two. So this is take, and then we can change with the keyboard uh, shortcuts. So let's listen once. So this is take one. This is take two. This is take two. This is take two. This. So this is take one. This is take two. Of course, the best thing is to commit and decide what you want to do and just go on with another instrument and the mixing and everything. But if for some reason you need to keep some choices and go back to them easily. The revolver track is a nice uh, addition. So managing takes uh, using the revolver tracks and that might seem a bit complex for a beginner guide, but of course uh, those videos are driven from your uh, comments and questions. So you, if you have any, put them in the comments. Uh, I can explain further. I can do complimentary videos to explain that better if I did not do it. Uh, but if you liked this video, please click on the like button. Consider subscribing. Hit the bell to get notifications. And of course, go in the description and click on the merch link. Anything you buy will help the channel grow and give you better content. Another way to help the channel is to play as many videos as you can on the channel and of course share those videos. It's always a great help.